And again, this is John with Trailhead River Sports. Our video today is going to be on assessing repairs. The first step in, in evaluating what you might need to do to get air to stay in your boat. One of the things we really strive for when we're out recreating on the river is to be safe while we're doing it. We also need to be safe when we're doing boat repairs. Whether we're doing boat repairs in the shop or out, on, out in the field along the river, there's some key things that you need to look at. First, we're gonna start with soapy water. It uh, identifies leaks very well and it's simple. And, okay. So once we have our soapy water and we've located our leak and assessed what we're gonna repair, we need to get a clean environment and fresh air. If you're working in your garage, open the doors. Generally good idea to bring a fan in just to keep the air moving. The fumes with these, uh, these chemicals can be pretty harsh. So after we assess the repair, then we need to get the boat flat. In a normal repair, if we were repairing the tube or the case out here, we would let the air out of the boat. And so it's really critical before you start playing with chemicals and, and cutting patches that you have a good plan on how you're gonna lay your repair out. If you have, say, a repair along a seam, that's gonna cause issues and it's gonna not be flat. If you have a repair, say, in this area, it looks like we're flat, but we've got material under here and we've got straps, and that's all gonna affect how the patch lays. Muscle this material around a little bit and get it into a spot where it's flat. And sometimes we can use blocks of wood to do that, get creative, but uh, again, very important. There's actually repairs where we work through another hole in the side of a boat. So we'll actually deconstruct a boat to do a repair on the inside and then back our way out. So that gets very complex, but we do that because we can't get the boat flat. <laughs> Once we have the boat flat and we have a good assessment of how our, our patch is gonna go together, then we can get our equipment out. Equipment is gonna be things like our adhesive, our cleaners, our debrading equipment, and our patch material. And then any tools that we're gonna to need to put all of that together. So if you're a new boat owner, maybe you picked up a used boat off of Craigslist, not, not sure of the material, there is a reference chart that NRS publishes linked below. Uh, I encourage you to check that out. It's got most of the major brands and what they were made of in the vintage that they were made. The two most common materials on the market today in boats are PVC and Hypalon or Pinel Orca, which is a, a synthetic rubber. But the basics of laying out a repair and assessing the repair, getting your boat flat and getting your equipment out is, is what we wanted to cover in this video. Again, remember the SAFEN acronym. It's just good to think safely when you're on the river and when you're doing, doing repairs. Uh, our first repair video, we did talk about repair kits and some basics on materials and what's in repair kits. Check that one out. And like I say, we're gonna move forward from this video and we're gonna get into actual repairs, types of materials, types of adhesives, and, uh, and move forward from there. Thanks for tuning in.